Welcome back to the Buckeye State Well on March 25th, 2023. I went over to Huron and Vermillion area for the day. And man, the wind was blowing. We would see plenty of action on the Chicago line. Was a special catch on the Cleveland district. First up is an animal that's going east. It was a GMO on front and then maybe a DPU. I seen it over the Oak Harbor, Ohio. After the previous train went by, here comes another animal train heading east with a BNSF Giro trail there. Here comes another eastbound. This one is another animal. This is the third one I have seen this whole trip over in Huron and Samarian area. He will be hauling it east. It will be kind of short. Not really short, but it will feel like it since he's flying east. There will be a wind warning effect till 8 o'clock p.m.
here comes another eastbound. It started to wane. Yay. This one is really, really short. Probably not even like 16 cars on this animal. But it would have two engines and 16 cars. What the heck? But he is flying still. The wane would start after this eastbound goes by. Here comes another eastbound, but this one is not an animal. It's mixed with ROX and Manifest. It's kind of short. It has a solo AC44C6M. It's one of the 45 series. Here comes our very first westbound. Yay. We actually have not seen a westbound at all since I've been here at Java World. Since I've been here, I have not seen a single westbound till now. It's very windy still. It would not end it till 8 o'clock p.m. But anyway, here comes this Animoto that's going west towards Toledo. I don't know where it's going, I think it's going to Chicago or Kansas City. Here comes another westbound on the Chicago line. I didn't feel like getting my camcorder out or my tripod out. So I have my phone on the other hand and have my camera DSLR on the other hand. This one is another animal.
Here comes another eastbound on the Chicago line. This one has a dash nine leading due to the PCC, and then two Canadian Pacific rebuilt. So second and third. They can't lead for some reason due to PCC. But with NS, they have PCC, so they are leading to Canadian Pacific. There goes another westbound on the Chicago line. But anyway, this is an animal flying. The wind is pretty bad, so that won't stop us from doing even more well. Here comes an eastbound on the Cleveland district. It will be coming out of Bellevue, Ohio. Well, it will be coming out of Decatur. But this one unit that came out of Bellevue, I guess it was picked up by Bellevue. It's the Penn Central Heritage Unit, trailing 6 out of 7. 148 is heading from Decatur, Illinois, 
to Conway, Pennsylvania. I guess it just picked up the Penn Central while I was in the club. We're back on the Chicago line after getting the Penn Central on the Cleveland District. Here comes a Acidol train going west towards Chicago with two BNSL, one Giro and one Gas 9. They'll be going west on the Chicago line towards Chicago. Here comes another westbound, it's been like 30 an hour later. Here comes another westbound, but the P5's on the Gelo, and then the UP Gelo turns second on this manifest. I guess it came from Conway, and I'm not sure where it was made out of. It could have been Buffalo, New York, or Conway, Pennsylvania. Either way, it's going west on the Chicago line. What a lucky surprise, I guess. This one's going east. I didn't even hear a single horn, like, miles away, until it was close to the crossing. I was beginning the tail end of the westbound, and here comes this deep now. Luckily, it didn't have anything special, because I almost did not get a picture of it. Which is alright, because this one is just NS power.
this will be the last train for the day at Huron and Vermilion area. But anyway, this is a cold train. It looks like to be loaded. One or two or three dash nine. That those are dash nine. Anyway, this one's going west. Maybe towards Detroit. Maybe bound for Burns Harbor or send us. Either way, it's going west. So I don't really know where this one's actually going. The 38.2 mile chase starts at Northwood, Ohio. It would have a CS6 Jeevo and an Lake State Railway SD70M. Those are new to the roster. I have not seen an SD50 in a while. So I hope I get to see those sometime. But anyway, those are in Lake State Railway in Saginaw. I think they're still running. But I'm not really sure. Now I'm seeing these SD70Ms. Which is cool. Because I like the 70Ms better than the 50s sometimes. say a few hours later, well probably two hours later, we would give this train a chase since it was sitting for that long, and plus we really didn't see any NS trains on the Chicago line. So I just thought me and my dad would give this train, the Lake State, a chase. Since it's going up to Flint, we would give this one a chase, like probably north somewhere. This is the first spot, Hoffman Road. I thought about this spot, so I thought I would shoot the lake state here. Thanks George for thinking about this spot. Well, I was actually thinking about this spot. But, my buddy George has shot lake state here before, and I want to show you guys it.
we were still continuing north towards Erie, Michigan now. This is not the final spot, but we are looking for our final spot when we are getting the late state here in Erie, Michigan. This is the final location for this chase. Now we're in Carlton, Michigan, where I know Ghost Wu, it, it crosses the Saginaw subdivision. This will be the last time to see Lake State for this break till whatever day that we'll go welfare near the Chicago line or figures. I think the crew kind of know we were chasing them from Northwood, Toledo, Erie, and then now Carlton. Give us a horn show because I think you kind of knew that we were chasing them. I bet you can tell where we're at. We're at Carlton, Michigan, again, because we thought we would catch, I know, Indiana and Ohio Railroad. But that would not be the case. They would one after we catch at 510.28. They would have a mid DPU, which is a Jeevo, and then we would go off to Milan. But before we went to Milan, I just wanted to say, there was some mount equipment, just in the siding at Carlton, and I thought that since they'll probably be working the tracks on the Saginaw subdivision, so I thought I would just get some pictures before I go off to Milan. And there's this train I have not seen in a long time, and there goes that Milan. It's a world trailer train as Triple Crown 255 coming from Detroit, Michigan to Kansas City, Missouri.
I bet you know where we get at. Yup, we're at Varian, Ohio. Well fitting on the NS Sandusky district. Any other list line, which is CSX, and then the CSX Columbus subdivision. We would see this southbound on the Sandusky district to be heading south. Before I was shooting the southbound, I noticed I heard some diamond noises on the CSX Columbus subdivision. So I thought it was like a high wheel or something. Whoa! It was a CSX southbound that was heading south. I saw that one before I saw this NS. And I thought to myself, it's a waste. I was not expecting that. I was expecting to get the NS first before I get the CSX. But, oh well, that's a pretty good tweet for me so far. We are north, just north of the well spot in Marion. So now we're getting a northbound that came off the Indianapolis line. This is I-132 that is going to be working Wallbridge, so it will be going up there. I-132 has a UP EMD duo up front. So I got that. And then I just figured there would be like a mid DPU, which there was. And then I would see that, and then I'll go back to the park. And yeah, I would see the I-131 city north of town as well, with an NS Jivo, and then a Kansas City Southern Jivo. There goes a northbound on the Sandusky district with a PNSF Jivo 
and then a highway is behind the duo with being a sub. I bet you can tell there's a guy that's down below us me and he told me that there was a bunch of northbound and southbound. This is one of them. Here comes another train on the Sandusky district. This is another manifest that's heading north towards Bellevue. It has NS power leading instead of foreign power. Instead of today, I don't really care what trains I see today unless I, there's no duelments. That's the only thing because NS and CSX, there's been a lot of duelments on those NS and CSX. So I'm glad there wasn't, hasn't been a development since. So that's good.
UPS train, which will be an immortal, that will be heading south on the Sandusky district online, with a Jeevo, an Ace, and then a Dad 9. The Jeevo will be leading, Ace will be trailing second, and then Dad 9 will be trailing third. Like I said, I don't really care what I see. I haven't been a Marion so long, and it's like, I don't really care at this point. So, whatever tanks I see, I don't really care what the engines they are, or whatever. that are northbound on the Sandusky district. The Sandusky district will get busy. This is all UP to trio. All elephant style for some reason. This is probably 266 coming out of Columbus, Ohio to Chicago, Illinois.
woke up to another northbound. When I was inside, I heard a horn for a northbound. Luckily, it didn't have anything. But looks like it's a load of coal for Sandusky, Ohio. This was surprising. Here comes another southbound on a Sandusky district. This was probably going for Jaganuga, Tennessee. It has an AC 44C6M leading with a P5. It's a manifest, of course. Probably going down to Chattanooga or Virginia, somewhere in Virginia. After that NS went by, I saw like a green signal for westbound on the CSX Indianapolis line. It'll be t M217, which is going down to Louisville, Kentucky. I don't know where it came from, but the only thing I know is an ROI train that came from the east going to Louisville.
only thing I will figure out. This diamond is loud. I haven't heard a diamond this loud in a long time. But anyway, this train I found out it would have a mid DPU. 776 would be the number of the G bug. Here comes the northbound on the Columbus subdivision. This is G016 from Russell, Kentucky to Upper Sandusky, Ohio. It would have a Wine 2 AC44 CW. 214 would be the leader of the Wine 2. And then a basically DC or AT44 AC.
totally unexpected. Not expecting a NSL bound right after a CSX. That was kind of a bit surprising for me, because either one, I did not hear a horn from the diamond. And it was like loud because of the CSX going by the diamond going north. And then right after, there goes the NS southbound. Here comes a local, but the engine is in the middle. You see these cars? I guess they're the engine is pushing these cars to the Marion Yard. So that gives me thinking. Why is there like cars and then engine in the middle and then more cars? They probably didn't want to flip the consist around, so they just did this instead. But that was complete. This is a rare one on a Saturday. They are always doing weekly days. But I guess we just got lucky. I guess they were hauling some loads from the interchain with Ed S and Adrian Bristfield. West of Westfield, Michigan, and then I saw these GP9 leading like this train train on an Adrian Bristol. These are old GP9. I think this is the only railroad that has GP9. Anyway, backstory. I was heading home, and then I saw this heading west on an Adrian Bristol. Heading towards Adrian, Michigan.
fuck? It's the next day after getting Adrian Blissfield. We're back on the road. This time we're on I-75 towards Monroe, Michigan. If you could tell by this bridge, it's kind of history. Gives out history to me, to the other Well fans in Monroe. You know, Well fans don't come to Monroe. I do occasionally. But I'm mean, most likely in the Toledo area to do some well fanning. But I heard a northbound and then we just zoomed up to Manuel. This is a CN, which is Canyon National, with Gitos on M382.
Once we got to Vegas Junction, here comes the westbound with a Thundercat Unit Pacific leading in Animal towards Chicago. Here comes another Animortal. This one is heading east. It's half Animortal and then all empty. So I don't know what's going on, but there will be two Animortals I've seen so far. This one that's coming up goes about to go fire. And the one that was having the thunder cap. This one just had half Animortal loaded and half empty. Same thing with the other one as well. We'll be another Animorto heading west towards Chicago and Illinois. We'll be heading towards Toledo to get a crew change or something. Because after this one went by, he would set west of us for like minutes before anything else comes. So I don't know what's going on or what. But this one is just all Animorto. The big GPUs were ending up as BNSF Jeevo and an NS-9. Dash-9s are starting to become rare these days, which are pretty cool because, well, the AC-44C6Ms are taking over the Dash-9s, so I want to get as much of Dash-9s as possible. They're like probably like 20 years old or something. I think it was, I think it's 27, but I'm not really sure. But anyway, after this Animorto, we would have another train besides NS. We would have a CSX southbound waiting to go south. the CSX I'm talking about. The lead motor would have a CSX Jeevo leading and then nothing that I always see is a Lake State Railway SD70M would be trailing behind the CSX Jeevo. I don't know why they don't let CSX have Lake State lead because those 70Ms have PTC but oh well it's still cool to see.
That was a UP um, we built. AC6000 we built, I guess. Yeah, we can. This is another Animortal. And I'm guessing this one. Yeah, I remember this one was crossing over to the track 1 to track 2. another westbound. This one is a manifest. This one's probably going to Elkhart or Decatur, Illinois. But if I would have to take a guess, this one's going to Elkhart. I don't know what the symbol on this one is, but yeah, it's just a manifest. This dude is in my shot. What the heck? another train. This one is a grainer. Which is a grain train. See that foamer? I don't really care if he's in my shot, but that other dude with the manifest, that dude was pretty close to my cameras. But he's pretty far away, so I don't really care if that's the point. And of course, there goes that other dude, and there's me in that blue sweatshirt. Come on now. What am I doing in my own shot? But I'm the creator of my own channel and videographer, so I don't really care for myself. But I don't really care anyway.
this time you're just, you get zero in $40. Okay. Yeah. Here comes CSX I-150 from North Baltimore, Ohio to Detroit, Michigan. For some reason, it's for drive, it's for two hours. But the trains, it usually takes like five to six, depending. But there's a line too, which is the other nose scheme. I don't know why they call that. They should just call it line two, AZ-44, that is leading I-150. <laughs> there he is again. <laughs> After I-150 passed, we would have an NS westbound on the Chicago line. This one's Santa Modal, but just junky power. For my spring break, I didn't really care what trains I get. Besides, after my spring break, I Oh, <laughs> 
this will be our last NF on this Chicago line for today. But it's another Intermortal Westbound. So there's all Intermortal and then there's all empty fine cars. Just the fact the empty fine cars at the end of the track. After getting the tail end of the westbound on the skyline, we would head back home. Before we do pack it up, we would say bye to my friends. And then after that, we would go get some food at KFC. While that, we would see a northbound on CSX. One BNSF and two at three Unipacifics on I-132.